excited to uh, kick off uh, today's event, uh, chock full of great uh, real life examples of uh, applied machine learning in transportation, supply chain, logistics, and many related industries. Perhaps uh, there's never been a better time to combine the power of data and analytics to restructure and redefine business models in these sectors. I think it's best to start with uh, what we understand when we refer to uh, intelligent mobility because it's a rather new concept. Uh, intelligent mobility can be defined as uh, moving people and goods around in a more environmentally friendly and efficient way with the help of new and innovative transport technologies that make journeys not only significantly better, but also more accessible globally. Uh, intelligent mobility, in essence, is about uh, enhancing passenger and shipping experiences and achieving planetary scale while doing so despite constraints that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So it requires a step change in our thinking about transportation services and networks and the underlying assets and the infrastructure that support them. In terms of specific industries and verticals involved, intelligent mobility touches all types of supply chains, human and freight transportation services, as well as uh, heavy infra infrastructure, such as airports, railways, toll roads, ports, and more. If we are to look at the uh, context in which uh, intelligent mobility projects have to live up to their expectations, we see a number of mega trends pick up further steam in uh, the 2020s the uh, foremost of which is uh, urbanization. Despite the impact of uh, COVID-19 causing uh, urban developers, the um, people who uh, love the city living to migrate to the outskirts of the, the towns they live in in search for more space and better affordability perhaps, uh, demographers and urban planners expect that uh, economic activity will stay concentrated in urban areas due to network effects. Today, it's estimated that about 60% of the world population live in cities, and the statistic uh, will probably climb close to 70% by um, mid-century, with, of course, the emerging markets leading the charge. Uh, this means smart city projects where AI and ML technologies can learn how humans and cargo navigate uh, our ur urban settings, autonomous vehicles, drones, new modes of underground and above-ground transportation will remain key areas of focus, to bring populations uh, new AI optimized transportation networks in order to make high density living a pleasant and safe experience. With the uh, United States officially rejoining the Paris Agreement on Climate Change designed to limit the uh, global warming and its uh, adverse effects, transportation system providers and supply chains will be challenged to migrate to more sustainable ways to operate in order to contribute towards uh, CO2 emission reduction goals and uh, related environmental imperatives. Uh, this means uh, significant shifts in the investment mix into the uh, existing infrastructure with mega projects such as network of electric vehicle charging stations, uh, renewable energy powered uh, transportation options and more environmentally friendly high speed railways. On the other hand, the emergence of the sharing economy uh, as a result of the uh, pressures of urbanization and climate change has uh, created a new cultural norm where citizens are exchanging the fixed cost of the traditional ownership economy with the flexibility and the variable costs of the sharing economy. In that regard, we can expect more efficient use of energy and resources as attitudes and expectations shift towards the normalization of affordable multimodal mobility and delivery services as ubiquitous on-demand utilities. The way uh, intelligent mobility will manifest itself in this decade is through thousands of individual projects and hundreds of solutions that span multiple industry verticals. As such, it's also representing a massive economic opportunity. According to research conducted by uh, Deloitte and Catapult Systems, by the end of this decade, the global intelligent mobility industry could be worth around $2 trillion. Companies that are further into their digital transformation initiatives are at a unique advantage because they have access to uh, multiple sources of clean and reliable data on their operational activities. These data streams including feeds from IoT sensors, image data from video cameras, and uh, transactional data from enterprise systems of record. Uh, they all um, can be combined with third-party data like weather patterns and satellite imagery uh, for a potent mix that's readily available to respective smart applications deploying valuable machine learned predictions. 
Uh, here we can see a set of use cases partitioned uh, by the industry vertical. Uh, at Big ML, we have first hand experience in delivering uh, some of these solutions, such as license plate recognition, toll sign mon monitoring, and dynamic pricing for toll roads, uh, some of which you'll hear more about later today. Uh, route planning for commercial fleets to minimize empty payload miles is another hot topic some of our presenters will touch on. Uh, finally, we also have our partner A1 Digital, uh, well represented on today's agenda, covering the proactive damage detection solution for railways uh, powered by the Big ML platform. Uh, it will be a remiss to uh, not mention uh, supply chain and logistics here, uh, as it acts as the connective tissue, consuming the services offered by airports, railways, shipping yards, road networks, you name it, worldwide. Uh, in a recent study, uh, McKinsey Global Institute identified supply chain management as one of the top three business practices where AI and machine learning drive the most significant revenue gains already. In fact, 72% of uh, supply chain management teams have reported year-over-year -year revenue increases based on predictive systems adoption alone. The early adopters that are attributing up to 20% of their earnings to such smart solutions are looking to accelerate existing pilot pipelines, pilot project pipelines, in order um, to uh, avoid losing market share in the post-COVID economic steady state. So how do transportation service providers and logistics personnel manage these applications once they are rolled out? Well, some uh, intelligent mobility processes can be fully automated, while many more cases result in machine learning systems augmenting human experts. These can be operational staff, process engineers, or customer service representatives. A typical uh, predictive application seamlessly touches uh, such frontline end users via alerts, dashboards, and timely operational recommendations. In the process, democratizing the sophisticated technology that machine learning and AI uh, are uh, across the entire organization. Uh, human subject matter expertise is also critical to continuously improve the underlying models, such as digital twins for key components and machinery by pointing out shortcomings or false negative or false positive outcomes uh, as applicable. Uh, more often than not, uh, intelligent mobility systems are expected to change the nature of frontline jobs in verticals like supply chain or logistics rather than straight out eliminate them. Domain experts can go a level deeper and configure existing machine learning workflows for a given point solution. Uh, those uh, that are trained can also create, test, and deploy new workflows that um, either address adjacent use cases or uh, maybe simply improve on existing workflows. Uh, for example, they can utilize new data streams or generate new features to pr produce better predictions. Last but not the least, IT staff is involved in managing key aspects such as system security, data governance, uh, fine-grained access privileges, and monitoring overall system performance. One of the key decisions to enable uh, intelligent mobility use cases is to build or buy. Um, and uh, uh, when it comes to your um, uh, AI machine learning backbone systems, um, a relevant statistics about this uh, choice uh, comes from the latest Deloitte Insights uh, State of the AI in the Enterprise Report uh, in 2020 where they surveyed and interviewed uh, uh, over 2,700 executives and decision makers in multiple industries. The results you can see here show um, uh, that 50% of the responders tend to favor licensing commercially available solutions and platforms. Uh, this percentage is even higher for those companies labeled as uh, seasoned uh, when it comes to machine learning ac um, applications and production. Uh, because uh, they have um, demonstrated they have five or more of those already uh, at scale. The study, uh, the same study also describes an interesting divergence between the motivations behind the machine learning projects of the more seasoned companies versus the others. Uh, less experienced organizations tend to target uh, low-hanging fruits uh, such as cost savings or uh, improving existing processes, making them more efficient, uh, which is perfectly fine, of course. Uh, but as the level of comfort and in-house experience in deploying more predictive applications mount, uh, they tend to graduate into more ambitious undertakings, such as uh, product or service en enhancements, and uh, in some cases, launching brand new products uh, uh, and um, uh, beefing their portfolio with new revenue streams, uh, not quite possible without uh, machine learning uh, applications in the first place. 
now that we've observed the emerging affinity towards buying versus building, uh, let's delve a bit deeper into uh, how uh, a modern machine learning platform is structured before I um, I'll leave the floor for the next presenter. Uh, in case it's not obvious by now, commercial machine learning platforms can definitely play a key role in bringing intelligent mobility use cases to uh, production at a rapid pace. Uh, Do-it-yourself AI infrastructure tend to be more complex, more expensive to maintain, as it stitches together disparate open source packages with glue code and, um, and has a tendency to accumulate significant technical debt over time. Uh, commercial platforms provide valuable traits such as traceability, interpretability, programmability, repeatability, out of the box. Uh, underneath the UI layer we touched on earlier, uh, where you know alerts and recommendations surface, the platforms tend to run code that represents a specific workflow solving an individual use case. Uh, these workflows run continuously; they get refreshed periodically um, with the latest data in mind, and the relevant enterprise data sources are integrated and data transformations are taken care of in the data layer to feed those workflows. Finally, a set of best-of-breed algorithms and the related machine learning engineering primitives are made available through a REST API, forming the base layer of the pyramid that we see here. Over the years, uh, we've seen quite a few organizations uh, uh, find success with our specific platform um, after less than desirable internal uh, machine learning infrastructure adventures um, that tend to result in fewer production applications. Uh, ideally, you should be able to see uh, early result, results within weeks and months and uh, full payback of your capital expenses uh, in this space within a year after production rollout. Uh, this is made possible due to the additional bandwidth to handle many more collaborative experiments across your organization in parallel, meaning, uh, of course, faster time to market with new use cases along with minimized technical risks and uh, the freedom to concentrate on your business KPIs instead of technical infrastructure concerns. If you'd like to see a demo of our transportation solutions or the big ML platform itself, um, we urge you to contact us anytime. Uh, send us an email at info at bigml.com. For now, that's it from me and enjoy the rest of your virtual conference.